in the male slave dungeon, and each room could hold 150 to 200 people. Being inside here, there wasn't anything like, I won't ease myself, let me go do it. He did everything here. Yeah, we stand in on solidified human waste. If we are to dig, we find bricks beneath, because the castle originally was built with bricks, oyster shells, lime powder, stone sand, cut oil. The Europeans who came to Africa built churches in all the three castles they built. And we found the church built on this castle right on top of this very room called SBG. Society for the Propagation of the Gospel, now the Anglican Church. The Sawa people are here dying. They claim to worship in God above. I don't know the kind of God that works because the same scriptures they brought to Africa says that they now long for the night to drag people away from their home. This is what the transatlantic slave trade was all about. Dragging people away from their homes. Any submissions? How long did they stay here? Yeah. One week to three months waiting for the ships. Yeah. Depending on how late or early the ships arrived. <coughs> yeah. You stand here, let me put up the light because there wasn't light here at the time. I guess so they got these holes that would be the only source of light and air. This is daytime. Yeah. So imagine the nighttime. And you're eating something, you can't even see. So they just pull out the dead ones when they die. No, you see. The wood? They threw them into the sea. Okay. I guess we get it. Yeah. We move to the other rooms. <laughs> 